Well, good morning. It's a crisp, cool fall morning. Right and, it's be hot. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be 85 degrees later. So in Georgia, if you don't like the weather, hang on about 10 minutes and it's going to change. I have to, I have to start the program with something that I think is really, really cool because we have both faced a lot of craziness. You lost your dad at a young age. Your mother is battling cancer. I lost my mother to cancer. We've all faced something, but I love this. And this is something that John Wayne said. Courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. So we get scared, we get nervous, we worry about life, but we don't stop living. No. And I think that says what we did. Um, Cole's going to or <laughs> Cole's going to play with your mic, okay? But we um, we actually have so much fun accomplishing so many things. But sometimes even we hit a brick wall. But we don't stop riding. We just keep going and we just keep saying we're going to make this happen. And um, we have hit some brick walls and you're like, really? Why did that happen? Why did this happen? Why did, oh, why two days before closing does somebody yeah. back out? Why does, you know, yeah, but you just, you, you get it together, you yeah. put it together and you do it. You do it. Now, we always ask for prayers for whatever's going on in the community, whoever's hurting, whoever's dealing with things. So many people in our community are still battling COVID. And I have a dear friend up here in LJ. There are like five people associated with him who have COVID. And I please pray for them. Pray for the, that they will get okay. And our office manager, Miss Marcy, had uh, a biopsy the other day. And we are hoping that everything's going to be well with that because um, we are praying for good news and nothing but good news. Life is filled with good news. And then it's filled with some bumps and some jerks and some knee jerking craziness that you have to deal with your precious mama is in peru battling cancer she's on her treatment now so she will have to do a recap mm -hmm. and everything good i don't know uh appointment is actually today okay so we'll know at the end let's say a prayer that she will be good as can be good yeah. as can be so and let's all say a prayer that mama will come to the u.s <laughs> Now, you know, we woke up this morning to beautiful, beautiful temperatures. And um, it's not hot, it's not cold, it's very pleasant. What is the weather like in Peru? Right now is winter time, but it's not as cold as here. Really? Winter time in Peru is like 40 degrees. The lowest. Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow, wow, yeah. wow. It never goes below that. Okay. So is it a climate that, pull your mic out, I think, pull your mic out and put it right up here. Right there. Let's see if that. No, it's not that. Yeah, okay. They're going to work on it for just a minute. Okay. So, um, but I I know temperatures change people's moods. Yes. You know, if it's too hot, you're like, ah, 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 ah. you're yeah, too snarly. Yeah, if it's cold, you're like, <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go outside. I don't, I don't want to stay here. Fall in Georgia to me is like heaven sent. It is so amazing. It is so amazing. And today we're going to share some of the things that fall temperatures do. Fall temperatures often bring people out to these beautiful mountains and this weekend, even though Ball Ground isn't the first mountain city, it's kind of like the first tourist city for the mountains. And this weekend, sitting on the porch Saturday night, I was hearing all this really good 60s music and I said, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't even know about it until and I saw your video yes, I was yes. like, what? <laughs> And then I said, well, let's go check it out. So we go and check it out, and there are people up in ball ground dancing to the 60s music. Well, I grew up in the 60s. You weren't even born no. in the 60s, but I grew up in the 60s, and I love the music. But so they weren't even wearing the outfit and everything. Everything. It's, it's so, cute. so cute. So we have some footage we're going to share with that. And this is actually, if you are a 60s baby and you love hot rod cars and you love 60s music and you love great food, we're going to invite you to come to Ball Ground and visit Dominic's. And I want to share something else about Dominic. He has just started Dominic's mission. <clears throat> and it's going to be happening late November, early December in Ball Ground. And it's giving back to the community. <clears throat> and I think that's what's so very important for all of us. Yeah. Um, the Cherry Log Festival happened this weekend. That's an event that's giving back to the community. Everybody can do something to give back. And can you talk a little bit about the cleanup that's going to happen in Ball Ground this weekend for the river cleanup? Oh, it's this Saturday uh, from 10 to 1. 
Um, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. <laughs> right. Doesn't everybody uh, gather together? Yeah, we're going to gather together at the city hall, uh -huh. and then from there we're just going to go to the uh, the creek. Sharp Mountain and, Creek. Yeah, yep. and we're just yep. going to clean up and volunteer, and yeah. And I'm get, excited. get together, there will be yeah. bottles and cans oh, and yeah. all kinds of debris that people throw out, which mm -hmm. ruins our waterways. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. But, yeah. but so you'll be a part of that. And that's been yeah. happening for several years. And yeah. I think that is a it's great program. Awesome. Yeah, I like yeah it. pretty yeah. awesome. We also visited yesterday with some folks in downtown Ball Ground. And um, elections scare me a little bit because who you put in position will rule your life, change your life, make your life pleasant, or destroy your life. Yeah. And I'm a little concerned about um, some of the negativity with the um, with the growing. I, I, I hate <laughs> to say this yeah. word, newcomers who are not really newcomers, but they have been here a few years, but they wouldn't be here if ball ground hadn't grown. Because if the property yeah. that used to be the kids' playground hadn't turned into a development, none of these people would live there. If the property where everybody used to plant cotton and drive their tractors hadn't been sold and developed, then that bunch wouldn't be here. Yeah. So it really scared me to hear their negativity because there's nothing negative about growth, yeah. well-planned growth. Well-planned growth is good for everybody. Yeah. Number one, it's good for the tax structure. And you're a property owner. Mm -hmm. As a property owner in the past, I always looked at, what is my tax bill going to mm -hmm. be this year? Yeah. Well, if you're the one of 500 bearing the burden, it's a big bill. If you're yeah. one of 5,000 bearing mm -hmm. the bill, it's not quite it's so bad. It's not quite bad, yeah. So I love and the idea. And you get more stuff to enjoy, too. You get right more now. stuff to enjoy. Yeah. And, and I think that I was a little turned off by all the negativity yeah. because growth is happening. What is Vicki saying? Preserving the past, embracing the, the future. future. Yeah. And I think that is so very, very important because mm -hmm. we have to preserve the past by yeah. maintaining the history and the culture and all the things that happened mm -hmm. from the moon shining to the drag and racing. And the owners are going to enjoy it. Yeah. They're going to see it. Yeah. And, and I told this one couple, I said, when you see the amazing sidewalk and the infrastructure that's going to connect your community with downtown and this community with the 50-acre walking park, and now can you talk and to... And the developer is going to pay for it. And the developer's paying for it. Can you talk a little bit about that 50-acre walking park? Because you've done that. Oh, yeah, the Roberts, uh, Roberts. Roberts Trail. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is a beautiful trail. And it's free. It is free. It It is beautiful everything about that hiking place is gorgeous like the water that what was that that it's darn, long swamp the darn, creek. yeah the yeah. darn that it was in there I the think. dam yeah the yeah, dam the dam and, was uh, there yep and then um that's like an old building that you can mm -hmm. see and that little, was actually blown up that's where the uh, what do you i guess the water there was a bridge in there be. right mm -hmm. it used yes. to be a bridge yes. yeah yeah so it's really pretty. I mean, it's something like it's, it's history. Free. You can still see the history, mm -hmm. and it's really pretty. I mean, it's, it's an easy hike. <laughs> yeah. Because I have been in like really crazy hikes uh, where I got lost and so <laughs> snakes and, like, and no, stuff. No, no. no, this one is easy, <laughs> and it's really like what Beautiful. five minutes from. And and one of the great lives. things about where Farmers Crossing is going to be, it's going to develop beautiful cabins that people can rent. Um, for daily or weekly or whatever, come and visit. We can get away, yeah, and get away. And so we're going to really turn Ball Ground into a destination of choice for a staycation for a few days, mm -hmm. and that's going to be very unique because if you come to Ball Ground to visit, you can't spend the night because mm -hmm. there's nowhere to spend the mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be, and these are going to be very unique, very cute cabins that are walking distance to town. And again, we're talking walking distance to the restaurants, the brewery, the church, the library, Laura the garden, Mays, the, the little everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything, the botanical garden. So this development is going to be 
something that is going to be, I think it's going to be world renowned when people look at the concept. Well, what people are looking right now is the dirt and the trucks and I mean, what do they expect? To drop off from the there? ceiling? Yeah. <laughs> from the roof? How do you, know, how do you build the, a house? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. take me some stuff down. Like, yeah. you know, they have to drive through, you know, yeah. like it's, yeah. it, is, it might be annoying for a couple months, but yeah. when it's done, you're going to be like, oh, wow. How you know, amazing. Like, how amazing. But you have to be patient. You have to wait and unfortunately to build, you're going to see a lot of dirt, a lot a lot of dust, mm -hmm. a lot of trucks. Well, when Mountain Brook came in and we had families who lived on the border of Mountain Brook, everything they owned was covered in red dirt, but they accepted that that's mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Yeah. And now they have great neighbors and they've made friends with some of those mm -hmm. folks. And, and you know, when somebody whines and complains, I always say, well, if it weren't for progress, you wouldn't be here. And no. just think how much you love to be here. So, yeah. so I hope that everybody um, gets their attitude, a little bit of an adjustment, and yeah. I hope they'll be happier because I think Ball Ground is going to be the best it's ever been. And it's exciting. And I don't know if you've seen the picture that we have of downtown Ball Ground when it was a dirt road and there are mm -hmm. people on all, both sides of the street. Tons and tons of people used to go to Ball Ground on Saturday. Do you know who was in Ball Ground then? Mm -hmm. The locals. The locals. And I think that's something that concerns me. I want the local, local residents to support the to local support, businesses. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, and I think that's something in LJ. Every LJ local resident needs to come to downtown LJ and spend money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in Blue Ridge, sadly, because Blue Ridge has grown so fast, a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to go to town. Yeah, you do. You want to go see the new shops. You want to go see the new restaurants. You you really do. Yeah. So don't don't remain negative yeah. about it. No. Yeah, you have to get positive. Get positive and yeah. get with it. Now we're also working on a new commercial because um, joining together as a team and bringing in SGC Groups LLC <laughs> who can do anything our heart <laughs> desires for a remodel has been just a dream. Yeah. It's been just a dream. And, and we're watching the vision of a home and ball ground go from this to this and it's oh, going to be look amazing very scary and you're like whoa <laughs> yes yes and yeah. and you brought in some pictures that we're mm -hmm. going to share today of things that you have remodeled and Previously. um you know when you're talking from the dirt up and literally y'all have done remodels dirt, um, from the dirt up oh yeah. i forgot to put the picture so when they put the the septic tank mm -hmm. and, and it was all green <laughs> And I came two days later and it was all dirt and I was like, oh my God, this grass never gonna grow. Of the houses, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wanna go to that. Yeah, so okay, now this is, this is the house that Evelyn <laughs> bought. I was the selling agent and she still speaks to me. But, but when she bought this, it was rather rough and it had already had a new roof put oh, on yeah. it. That's the interior of it. Mm -hmm. And um, we opened walls there so you could have more space and you repurposed cabinets, which was a great way to save some money yeah. on, the, on doing Those that. Those cabinets were nice. Those cabinets were fantastic. Yeah. And you increased the size of the master bedroom mm -hmm. and bathroom. And that wood you are still using. Oh my using. God, I've been using that wood in every single <laughs> renovation. Yeah, yeah. And this literally, the family That's the who, kitchen. That's the kitchen. <laughs> the, the family who bought this is uh, so in love wow. with their home. They still love the house. That's there the it is, the finished product. There it is, the finished product. And she literally took used cabinets and turned them into useful, beautiful kitchen cabinets. So that's the master bathroom. Yeah, that's the master. There you go. That's There's the, the dream. There's the dream. Teamwork makes dreams work. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? And yeah. it, it be, it's a beautiful setting. It has beautiful flowers in the yard. It has a pear tree in the backyard. Oh it has blackberries, blackberries everywhere. Blackberries, yeah. It's just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful home that was sitting there, truly a diamond in the rough. And this is what SGC Groups LLC did. Yeah. <laughs> and under your direction, you kind of have a vision when you start. Do you ever stop in the middle of it and say, nah, let's do this differently? Uh, sometimes, but sometimes it's too late to make changes, but mm -hmm. I think it's easier when you see it open and you can say, oh, I can open it up, I can do right. this, I can take this door, or I can get this wall down. Uh, I guess it's just like the vision that you have, you know, you have to see it as like, oh, when it's done, it's going to look like this. Yeah. 
And some people, look at that. Isn't That's that so amazing? Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? And this yeah. house sold for what, 179? 184. 184. Yeah. 184. And uh, you talk about last a year. Bargain. This year could have yeah. This could have been year sold for like three hundred. Yeah, yeah. It should be two eighty nine. <laughs> yeah. But but isn't that an amazing transformation? And you added a big back deck. Yeah, that's the kitchen. Yeah, there's that's the, the kitchen. kitchen. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And those are literally used cabinets that you repurposed. Oh, those cabinets were amazing. This is the house in Rome. Yeah. This is after it was renovated. Now this house oh. in Rome was about a 60s home. Look at that, how beautiful 1955. Is that? 1955. Yeah. And so, you know, when we're showing real estate, people often get scared if we show them an older home and they go, oh no, I couldn't do this, I can do this. And this is why this portfolio is so important to show people if you have an older home and you want to remodel it yourself and you mm -hmm. want to stay in it, you know, you can pick up the phone and call Scotty and, and set an appointment and the make it happen. The amazing. Look at that. The deck that. was like, you can camp out. <laughs> and this house ended up selling for how much? Uh, 205? 212. 212. Yeah, 12, yeah, 212. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. The and bathroom. all of this is new. I mean, every single everything. bit of this is new. The electrical, the plumbing, everything. With, it, well, we kept the floors because they were hardwood floors, so obviously we just refinished the floors, mm -hmm. but um, we painted the um, fireplace, uh, painted all the trim. Uh, we removed all that nasty. It's beautiful. <laughs> wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. Wallpaper is the thing that. Uh, oh gosh, that's the basement. You have to see the pictures before. Wow. Uh, that was not a basement. It was nothing but the basement. Mm -hmm. It was, it was horrible. It had like this flooring that it was like dirty that's got it put in the yeah light fixtures in the dining room um it's beautiful it's pretty late outside you see he works mm -hmm. late he works late <laughs> he works late <laughs> yes, that's the does. master bathroom yeah he works late yeah that is so pretty yeah this is the house in marietta oh i love that pink tile did I you know you do that did yeah. you take it down yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was the house in rome before uh, and before. after yeah. yeah so there's all that com you see the wallpaper mm -hmm. that wallpaper was so that's the house in rome oh wow so you so, did away with all of that no we got we remove everything yeah everything wow. everything everything wow. um and that would break my heart to see that tile go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the other, that's the bathroom. That, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't break my heart to see yeah. that go away. I would want that yeah. to go away. So that is so wild, and it's such yeah. a great vision. That's, yeah, that's wallpaper too, Look all at that. around it. Wow, and just lightening up that brick made yeah. such a drastic yeah, difference. That's the yeah, that's the and we changed the chandelier there. Mm -hmm. Took took all the wallpaper. That's the room over there. That room is amazing. Yeah, yeah. that is just beautiful. Now, did you have to strip the floors, or how did you do that? Just refinished the floors. Yeah, the Beautiful. floors were good, but. Beautiful. Really, really good. They were really scratch. Yeah. And you know, yeah. Rome is a town that still has some great values in it. They've they have really up a good lot. houses. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really That's good, the basement. there's the basement. That's oh the basement. my goodness, that beautiful paneling. Yeah. <laughs> Golly, dude. Yeah, look. it did not have insulation. Wow, yeah. wow. So that's one of the bathrooms downstairs. That house wow. is really big. It was 2,500 square feet. That that one that's is probably bathroom. one that um, people probably didn't see that much of a vision for it because it looks like this is going to scare me to death. Yeah. What time frame did it take y'all to do that one? Four months. Uh, Four months. Yeah, my investor bought that property in August and we closed the resale in December. Wow. So literally four months. So wow. that's the basement. They have to do all the framing. They remove all that ceiling. That's the bathroom in the process. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, then uh, yeah, that's the basement getting done. That's amazing. Yeah, they had to put insulation all around the windows and all that because they didn't have insulation. That's my house. Oh, yes. And, and this, she <laughs> still speaks to me, y'all. And I sold her. This house was truly Yeah, that's the bathroom now. Else. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's that is the so before. cool. Yeah. That's the laundry room. And before. Before. Yeah. 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 Everybody's so excited. Say, you have a window in your laundry room. That's my laundry room. <laughs> I yes, love it. I have I a love. window. Oh, um, Scotty was so bad when you know. I was like, can you move the laundry room? Because we did have a laundry room in a different area, and I was <laughs> like, well, I wanted to hear. He said, well, it's gonna be really hard to move all the plumbing, and I was like, 
Okay. Okay. Now this That's is the kitchen. It's not done the, yet, but this is the kitchen that I just have to laugh at. She has a pot filler there. Yeah. And the pot filler is one of the trendy new things yeah. that everybody wants. And so Evelyn has one. So when she decides she's tired of living walking distance to me <laughs> and walking distance to town, that house will be on the market too. Yeah. So yay. Yeah, that's the house in Marietta too. Yeah. They put brand new floors. They open up that there used to be a wall in there. Mm -hmm. They open up that wall. Um, so that's the living room kitchen. Um, I think I put that before. That's the kitchen. It was wow. a small kitchen, but it was super cute. Yeah. Um, that's one of the bedrooms. Now, Evelyn, when you're redesigning for somebody and they want the all the bells and whistles and mm -hmm. they go over budget, do you say, look, we could do it with a little different texture, a little different technique and yeah. save you some money? Do yeah. you kind of show them that? Yeah. Um, for example, in the house in Rome, um, when we were taking the wallpaper in the bathroom, like literally, it was ripping all the sheetrock. Oh, wow. It was coming chunks of sheetrock because the wallpaper, it has three layers of wallpaper. Oh, wow. So when they were scraping it, it was taking like the whole sheetrock. So what we did, we pulled the panel in that we found on the Talking Rock house. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I think it's still in pictures in there that um, that's the that's the wallpaper that didn't come up. Uh -huh. And when we were trying to take it, you know, take it down, it was not coming off. It was coming with all the sheetrock. That's when we already removed the first layer. Uh -huh. You see that? Uh -huh. yeah. So that was that color. And then behind that, it has like a flowery looking wallpaper. So we were just spending too much money on it. So we decided to put the paneling, which was cheaper. Right, right. And um, that's a beautiful, beautiful room right there. <laughs> well, you want me to tell you a history of that? <laughs> we broke the mirror. They came with the vanity. Oh no! So we were about to list the house, and I was like, "Where are we gonna find this big mirror for cheap?" That's off a dresser. That's a dresser mirror <laughs> that I bought at the marketplace for twenty dollars. Oh my god! So, yeah. So Scotty was like, "It's not gonna look good," and I said, "Yeah, it will." <laughs> and everybody, it when I have a feedback, and they were like, "Oh, that bathroom is so gorgeous," and I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> That's a, yeah, that's a dresser mirror. And yeah. so you have to use your imagination yeah. and you have to use your creativity yeah. to keep the budget on point yeah. and, and it works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to take you out to a little town called Ballground, Georgia. And we're going to show you what you could be doing on the nights that they have these little dances going yeah. on. <laughs> and we're going to also hopefully encourage you, if you live locally, if you live in LJ, if you live in Blue Ridge, if you live mm -hmm. up in McKaysville, get out and get to know the new business owners and find out how did they end up here? Have they been here forever? Did they move in here and fall in love with your town? But get to know the new business owners because the new business owners, you have no idea what they contribute to your economy mm -hmm. by the tax base of what they bring in in tax sales. So that's very, very important. And that's one of the things that Ballground had missing because we're not bringing any motel or hotel revenue. And that's something Blue Ridge has brought in millions um, of dollars yeah. in motel oh, and hotel yeah. revenue and in the cabin rental. And so Bob Grant is going to have this new thing happening in the in the future. In the future. It'll be a year and a half or so, but it's going to happen, and it's going to begin us on that trail of bringing in a little more tax dollars that might ease the burden of your tax bill. So we'll be back in tourists. just a couple of minutes, guys. <laughs> yeah. You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. 
Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow whatever you do in life Farmers is here to protect it for all your insurance needs call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge We're going to take you now to downtown ball ground and literally sitting on the porch hearing the music Saturday night I had to get out and find out what was going on and this is what was going on at Dominic's and again Dominic's is one of the largest food truck preparers owners in the state of Georgia and they do well and they are located right in downtown ball ground and they had all kinds of cool stuff happening this weekend they were absolutely packed and had a great time so sit back and enjoy a little bit of their music and just keep them uh, you know look at this this is so cute this is the 50s and the 60s that's the music of my age my era and I loved it I absolutely loved it so and I love the guys in the blue jeans and the white t-shirts oh, have y'all ever worn blue jeans and white t-shirts yeah 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 it's so cute it's so cute and uh, everybody's just having a really good time. And this is located just right downtown Ball Ground in a building that has been, it was a daycare center and then it was Martin's General Store and now it's Dominic's and it's where their food trucks are sourced out. Oh, and, and the uh, pizza is and Their pizza is fantastic. And there's the Haggard Hen, which is a little shop behind them. Look at that, doesn't that just look like a great way to spend Saturday night yeah. in a small town? That was really cool. I don't know where those guys were from, but they had so much fun and they were going <laughs> on and and uh, some were better than others. Some look didn't look jeans. quite as relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> some looked like they were having a blast. So <laughs> that um, one in black and white polka dots looks that like lady something Tori would do. Yeah. She's having fun. <laughs> she is having fun. That is so cool. That is so cool. And again, this is downtown Ball Ground. And when you look at the house next door, that house was just priced <laughs> and um, blew my mind a little bit. It reminds me of Andy and Opie and Aunt B sitting on the porch. It's an old historical home. They've done some renovation on it. It still needs a lot, but um, that was a fun, fun thing to happen in Ball Ground this weekend. I also want to share something that happened in my life this weekend. <laughs> I got to see Tori. Tori came in from Alaska. I might say she came in from Alaska with jet lag just a little bit. But yesterday I got to see her and she parked where you usually park at the top of the hill in Ball Ground. Mm -hmm. And they walked all the way down Ball Ground. And I said, why did you do that? And she said, I wanted Mike to experience Ball Ground. Yeah, to walk so we're going to show you a 30 second clip of my granddaughter as she arrived in Ball Ground to visit with her nanny for just a little while. see what her shirt said it said hey y'all <laughs> hey y'all hey y'all hey, 
And congratulations to Tori. She has a, uh, not a new job, but a bump up job at the TV station she is with in Anchorage. And she is doing very, very well. And she is, she's amazing. She just, every challenge, she meets the challenge, she exceeds the challenge, and she moves up another notch. And I think that's so important. She is, um, she is definitely, maybe she's her father's child with a little bit of her mama thrown in. So, <laughs> okay, when we talk about the things that are happening around us, um, we have seen some young couples not be able to buy homes because mm -hmm. the prices have skyrocketed. Oh, yeah. What do they do for housing? Because we have people who have a budget of 250 down. Mm -hmm. We can't find product for them. I have seen a lot of people looking for rentals because they were saving money for buying a house and they were expecting to stay at the same place for a little bit, but now sellers are selling their rental properties because they can get all the equity. Mm -hmm. And legally, they, are, they have to give the tenant 60 days to move. You cannot find anything in 60 no, days. You no. cannot find a rental or something to buy in 60 days. Mm -mm. It's hard. And, or, so the other option they have is to an increase of 600 to to $1,000 in rental. Mm -hmm. So. What do you do? It's crazy. It's, it's very it's, hard. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's hard. hard. So um, the other thing I have seen is a lot of people living in RVs mm -hmm. while mm -hmm. they build in their house mm -hmm. because they have no choice. Right. <laughs> well, we're about to put something on the market in Jasper, mm -hmm. and it's going to be $169,000. It's three quarters of an acre. It already has a septic system, mm -hmm. and you did some pictures of it this mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it is a small storage unit that was converted into just a, a playhouse for one of the grandkids, and it's mm -hmm. really, really cute. It's cute. And the property, you could go and connect to that and use that for storage and build yourself a home. Mm -hmm. And it's literally three minutes from downtown, uh, downtown it's, Jasper. It's literally a tiny house because the only thing missing in the inside is the insulation, insulation. and the sheetrock. It has a metal roof. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what, 450, 500 square feet. Right. It's really cute. It has a bathroom. You have electricity. You mm -hmm. have water. The sewer is there. So. Yeah. Really it's a cute. tiny house. <laughs> it is, and it it's is a so tiny cute. house. Yeah. yeah, it's super cute. And and we have seen. I was amazed. I I know somebody who rented an RV spot up here in L. J. Mm -hmm. And when I asked him, "What are you paying for the RV spot while you're building your home?" He said, six hundred a month." And I thought, "Oh my gosh, you're yeah. kidding me! Six hundred dollars a month to park your RV." Yeah. So I don't know how that works, but on this yeah. property, we'll have to see what the county would allow. Could you park your RV there while you're building your home? I think I don't so know. because she you know? says she had one there. Yeah. That so, but it's assume, it's a it's yeah. a beautiful corner lot, yeah. and it is um, one sixty nine nine. It's going to hit the market maybe later today. Yeah. So it's coming soon, and and I hope that it sells quickly. Now yeah. we also have something for sale here in LJ that's getting multiple showings today, and it is something that. Um, I always say, let's sell it before I get it in my blood to want to do it because <laughs> it is a great location to me for a really good restaurant oh, yeah. or for a brewery because it's out on the corner. It's in a very heavy, high traffic area. The inside's been completely redone and the inside looks absolutely fantastic. And I like to cook. And I said, if I could just find somebody to show up early and let me come in when I want to. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. That. You, you cannot find anybody that. to work right now. <laughs> you yeah, can't do it's that. Hard. And then we also have another small restaurant for sale. And um, because they are pushed to the max taking care of a mother with Alzheimer's, they can't, they don't have time to do this. There are so many great opportunities around. Yeah. But you have to find somebody to work, or you have to bring your family with you that wants right. to yeah, work. Yeah, or you have to do it. Yeah, or you have to do yeah. it. That's It's really, really hard. And and it's kind of now, I don't know if y'all have been through a drive through lately, but I don't go through drive throughs unless I absolutely have to because they're packed because people are still eating out in record numbers. Mm -hmm. But the restaurants are having such a hard, hard time getting help. And yeah. I, I don't get it. I wish they'd cut off that money that they're sending to people. I think they already did. I hope they did. Yeah. I hope it's about time you did. Yeah. But, but everybody needs to get back to work. You feel a little better when you get a paycheck. You feel a little more like I've accomplished something. So there are so many jobs available. And I was making a list the other day. I left Ball Ground and I went down Old Highway 5. And there's one, two, 
three factories right there on main on the main no, drag and then you in. turn to airport road and there are other factories they pay over twenty dollars an hour over twenty dollars an hour the post office is higher into the post month. office for seventeen <laughs> i think it's seventeen dollars and seventy six cents yeah yeah and and the post office is begging bus for drivers help. bus drivers <laughs> If you want to sign on to Cherokee County, pick up the phone and call and tell them you know Freddie Brackett needs yeah. a bonus. So what is it? What? Eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents, or twenty dollars? It's crazy. Or something? Yeah, yeah, like twenty dollars an hour. Yeah. And then if you want to substitute teach, if you were a teacher and you're retired, you have an opportunity to go back in the classroom now and make a lot more money than you made when you retired. Yeah. Because they're paying so much for teachers, yeah. and of course with COVID. You're exposed to children, you're exposed to COVID, so I think that may be a lot of the yep. the dollar value, the value is on your life. But again, if you feel like you can do it, there are a lot of jobs out there. And yeah. um, you know, I always say thank you to those businesses that are open and running. I say thank you to that lady out here at Arby's who takes my money. I say thank you to the lady at Captain D's. They are on top of their game. They're showing up and they work in long hours sometimes yeah. just to cover whatever that's I want to work for the day. <laughs> yeah. And yesterday the burger bus had to close early yeah. because they had a wedding to attend mm -hmm. and they didn't have enough staff to keep them open so they had to close at three. But that's a sign of the times. There are people who say, and mm -hmm. I got tickled last night on that Cherokee Connect, somebody, I need a job. Where can I find a job? I'm like, oh my gosh, don't even say those words. You can find a job anywhere you Just live. Just drive around. You can find your job without <laughs> opening your eyes. Yeah. There's so many jobs available. Yeah. And and I know that Blue Ridge is the same way. There's so many. Ingalls Grocery Store mm -hmm. is begging for help. And Ingalls, American owned, great company. I love, that's my shopping experiences at Ingalls. Mm -hmm. It's always clean. It's always safe. I feel good about it. And um, but they are begging for help in every department. And I looked and they needed a produce manager. I think it was the Jasper store. Yeah, Everybody, and, Kroger's is hiring. And it's paying Everything. great. Yeah. yeah, it's paying great. So, so there are so many jobs available. And remember, I used to make jokes about when I get too old to do anything else, I'm gonna be a greeter at Walmart. Well, the greeter at Walmart, <laughs> the greeter at Walmart in Canton is so cute. He's, I don't know if he's Hispanic. I think he may be, I don't know. He has a very strong accent. He's so cute, and he's probably 80 years old, Aww. but just the nicest gentleman. And and I said, you know what? Everybody can find something to do mm -hmm. today. Yeah, volunteer, work, do something, and keep it positive, and mm -hmm. keep yourself, you know, focused on doing something for somebody else. Yeah. And I also have a prayer request um, today for Al Fowler, who is one of our deacons at church, has been in the hospital several weeks. Everybody knows his sweet wife Kay who has been with him at the hospital now, um, in and out, back and forth, and he's had several surgeries. But we need to pray that his next surgery, which I think is next week, is gonna go well. And please say a prayer for, for Kay, number one, because to be a caregiver in today's environment, some hospitals let you in, some, some hospitals, hospitals don't, don't let you in. Yeah. And then he went to recovery, not recovery, rehab, I guess and she got to be there. So it's back and forth, back and forth. But these are different circumstances. You know, when your child goes to the hospital now, they might not even let you in with your child. Yeah. Which is very strange. Well, they, they let one parent because remember, I was in the hospital. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> multiple, that's right. Multiple times this that's year. Right. That's so right. yeah, they only let one parent in, yeah. But at least they yeah. do let one in, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, and I noticed last night there was a little tiny baby born one and a half pounds. Oh, I saw that. And oh, I, I oh just goodness. pray, y'all, that this little baby makes it. They showed pictures, and he looked healthy. He looked, it was you know, what, 23 weeks, I think? 23 right? weeks, yeah. 23 weeks. So please say a prayer because that is one of God's miracles. The baby is, and they said that the neonatal unit was doing just a fantastic job. So yeah. those are the kind of things that when you get down and out, you just say a prayer for somebody else. And um, I was talking to my friend Vicki, and y'all know Vicki the Bible lady. She hadn't been on for a while. Vicki has become the caretaker of her 102-year-old mother-in-law. I told Scotty that, and he's like, that's not possible. And I she said, she's is, 102. She's 102. She is the caregiver because no nursing homes have facilities available wait list and wait list and wait list. 
and this is wearing her down this is wearing her out and we need you to pray for a miracle for a nursing home to open up or her. for something to happen the Lord could call her home what about the one in Wildwood by the we house tried we tried it we tried it it's it's crazy wow. and and some of them say we're not going to put you on the waiting list because at her age it'll be three years before she gets in there you know so it's it's really really wow. tough and if you're caring for a mom with Alzheimer's if you're caring for a dad with Alzheimer's if you're caring she has been bedridden now for years and Vicki's mom was her caretaker and Vicki's mom did an amazing amazing job she was 82 years old taking care of this 102 year old wow. lady so you talk about amazing and and God worked out this plan that it worked for both those ladies because neither one of them had to be alone. But then when Vicki's mom got COVID, there was she no, couldn't she it couldn't anymore, do yeah. it. And so Vicki got to bring the mother-in-law home with her. And it's, uh, it's a tough job, but nursing homes are one of those things. If you work in a nursing home, then God bless you and God love you and thank you so much. My mother had the best care in a nursing home. And a lot of people whine about it and complain, but Mama said, Sugar, they were so, so good to me. And that's, that's so important. That's, yeah, that's what you want to hear. And if you work in a nursing home, we know that you give more than you get. You know, you just give and give and give of yourself. And I'm sure that they're shorthanded too. Yeah, they Because at, as a whole in the industry, they have never been the best pay. But hopefully they will change Give that. Some they will change something. that, yeah. yeah, yeah, but we've, I told Vicki, I said, just do this circle around however many counties, and she just keeps calling, 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 and no vacancies. It's like um, nobody has anything, nobody. And she has to have full-time care because of her situation, and um, say a prayer, please, because it could go either way. It could go either way. You know, when we looked back at how this year is almost gone, yeah. this year is almost gone, we both started it with COVID. <laughs> And we were like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? We dodged January, the bullet. January. Yeah, yeah. we dodged the bullet all last year. And then in January, we both got it. And we both recovered. And um, we both know people who have not recovered. Your brother was very, very sick with mm -hmm. it. He's very healthy. Yeah. And um, I, I have a young cousin who has been in the hospital for weeks. And I didn't check his status this morning, but his mom and Angela were the same age and the best of friends along with being cousins. And I just think about the age groups that now are being affected. Yeah. Because you and Younger, I are two totally yeah. separate ages and we both came out of it pretty quickly. And yeah. um, we both still have the headaches and we both still have some after effects and that's what's so scary. But we made it, you know, yeah. by God's grace, we made it. And when I look around and think, um, if I, I thought one time about putting a list of all those people we've lost, no. I just That's thought, sad. my goodness gracious, sad. because it does cover every single age. And I know that the churches are just now getting back to normal, and that's one of the things, if you, you know, if you social distance six feet apart, I think you're good. If you do things outdoors, I think you're good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where it's spreading so quickly, but there have been places that it's spreading quickly. I don't go to big gatherings. I don't, you know, do all that hugging and stuff that we used to do. But there are now people who are saying, you know, I don't want my kids back in school. You were very nervous yeah. about when school opened back up. Yep. But now, so far. Nothing <laughs> good. Yes, so far, everything everything's is been good. good. Yeah. yeah. And the school bus drivers at one point in time, they, they're really desperate for school bus drivers because the mechanics are having to drive. Sometimes the supervisors have to drive because if you get 10% of the drivers out, they don't have a 10% pool to, of yeah. substitutes to choose from. To cover from. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and when people, you know, you're like, well, you can make so much money driving the bus. They're like, they pay that much, yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> because they have to transport the kids. So yeah. to anybody who works in the school system, Y'all are amazing, yeah. just absolutely amazing. Yeah. And do you, how do they do the school lunches now? Is that different than it was before COVID? Uh, they they go back to the cafeteria. I think last year they were eating on their desks, mm -hmm. but now they go to the cafeteria. But I, they send groups, 
So like 10, they start at 10.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do 10.30 lunch and then 11 and then 11.30, 12. I think 12 is the last group. Mm -hmm. So they don't all go on the same time. They do like in groups now. Right. Um, but yeah, last year they were eating on their desk like Kaden did not like that. No. No. Because you want to socialize. Yeah. See, I think that's the thing when we took our children home. Mm -hmm. Number one, they lost that socializa mm -hmm. socialization, yeah. and that's part of being a kid. Yeah. Is you want to throw a ball with your friends, play yeah. with your kids. Um, I know this weekend the tennis court was full, the basketball court was full, people were playing and enjoying time and just really being busy. And yeah. I think that's important. Yeah, that's good. Because the kids were outside and they were doing stuff a lot. And um, we actually rode down to the walking trail and there were no cars there the weekend. And I thought, that's weird because I would have thought it would have been busy. Yeah. But I wonder how many people know about it. How do you get the word out about it? How do you... To that trail? That, mm -hmm. Well... Yeah. Because you wouldn't only, know about it if I hadn't told you. Yeah, well, yeah. if you didn't tell me what it was, I, and even when I went, I was like, am I going to the right place? <laughs> Yeah. And she was like, keep walking or keep driving, and I keep driving, and I was like, private property, and I'm like, they kind of <laughs> shoot me here. So, and then Darby was like, oh, I think I see, a, I see a parking down there, and I keep seeing all those signs, like private property, and I'm like, oh, no. So, I keep driving. I thought there was a little parking area there yeah, yeah. with the sign, uh, and then it's good. Yeah, it is, oh, yeah. You just have to pass that little area that everybody's yeah. like, oh, am I, am I good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. After that, you're good. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Well, on both sides of the road, entering to the 50-acre walking park, it, this side is owned by individuals, mm -hmm. and then this side is the new development, yep. Farmer's Crossing. So Farmer's Crossing, once it's finished, will connect everything with, with the that, sidewalks. Yeah, that yeah. will be amazing yeah. because then you will be. feel more. Do you know you will actually be able to walk out of your door, walk across up the, the street. sidewalk, <laughs> go across the street, and, and do the 50-acre, and not have to ever get in your car. Yeah. That is so cool. I know. That is so cool. I'm so excited. It's going to be really neat. Now, are we going to tell your neighbor that we're going to get some seeds from his yellow flowers? Or are we just going to get them and then ask <laughs> oh, forgiveness? Get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't been to downtown Ballground, if you come down Old Jordan Road that turns into Old Dawsonville, there's a beautiful home sitting there that has these gorgeous wildflowers. And I don't know what the name of them is, but they look like massive daisies. They look like daisies on steroids. Yes. They're and huge. they are literally absolutely gorgeous. And this morning, I wanted to just jump out of my car and, and gather them. And they just came them. out of nowhere because I live across the street. And I was like, I got up to leave, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> what, amazing. Where did so this it's thing amazing. came from? Like thousands of flowers. Yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. And this They're weekend, really a lot of people coming up to LJ were enjoying all the beautiful flowers on the side of the road over by the shopping center. And um, I was on the phone with somebody, and he said, oh, my gosh, people are going to get killed. They're out here getting their picture made with these flowers. You can't get out on 515 and, and the, do yeah, that. And the you know, they yeah. were doing it. But if you see wildflowers, you can get their seeds, and you can dry them, and then you can plant them, and then you'll have that same flower. It takes a little mm -hmm. while to produce them. Yeah. But it's amazing because wildflowers are the hardy, the strong, the, the beautiful. And those, yeah, those yellow really ones. Pretty. I don't yeah. know what the name of them is, but they are drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, they and, are uh, good. We might really use some pretty. of those in the commercial because yeah. just to have that in the opening, they're yeah. so so. And pretty. they're like really bushes, like yeah. green bushes, and then and all of a sudden tall. it's like yeah, green. yeah, they're gorgeous. Really so. pretty. So if you are looking for a home in the Jasper area, we have one listed that's three bed, four bedrooms, two and a half, two and a half baths, mm -hmm. three With baths. A basement, yeah, three baths, baths. Mm -hmm. yeah. Four bedrooms, three baths. It is 3189. Um, if you know anything about Jasper, Arbor Hills is like one of the best developments there. They have a pool, they have a tennis court, and the amenities are how much a year? 425. 425 a year, and that gives you access to the pool, the tennis courts, and um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful facility. This home has the cool thing about the downstairs is you could turn it into a mother in law suite. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or a teenager suite, which would keep the teenager downstairs out of your face and out of your hair. And yeah. especially a kid going to college who's yeah. driving back and forth from Kennesaw. Yeah. You know, they could have yeah, their own perfect. space. So that would be yeah. really, really cool. And uh, if you're interested in that, pick up the phone and call us. Because it is just hitting the market and it is, uh, it's a fantastic house. Has a fenced-in backyard for your furry friends. And almost one acre. And almost one acre and has a deck. So if you're looking and you think, I can't find the perfect place, 
It has a garage, but it not only has a garage, it has an oversized garage. Oh, yeah. Because they put kitchen cabinets in there. They drive a Har They have a drive a Harley. They ride a Harley. And then they have their two cars, and there's plenty of room in the garage for two cars and their Harley. So it's an oversized garage. Just a really, really neat house. So pick up the phone and call us. We might do an open house there Friday if we survive this week. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a wild week. Yeah. You know, when we think about we're approaching winter and there will be people still trying to move in the mm -hmm. winter months. Oh, yeah. So if you're looking to market your home, pick up the phone and call us. I hope that the pictures we shared about the remodeled homes, if your budget's low and you can have a vision, you can take a good buy in a fixer upper yeah. and you can turn it into your forever dream home. And I think some people just don't have that vision. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had people say, well, I don't want to buy this and house. And there is loan programs for that. Yes, yep, yep, so. yep. And, and that makes it not only affordable, but something manageable because mm -hmm. sometimes you don't have $40,000 cash in your pocket that you exactly. can do this remodel. So yeah. is it a 203K, 203K? Uh, two, yeah, 203K program yeah. to uh, do the remodeling or renovations or right. fixing the home. And probably um, the most important thing when you're shopping. Yeah, That's improvement. What I call it. <laughs> when you're shopping for a home today, do not get in your car and go anywhere shopping for a home until you're pre-qualified for a loan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because being pre-qualified means that you are not wasting your time or your realtor's time and getting your heart up hoping that you're going to get something that is over your budget or that you can't possibly swing the payment at all. Yeah, and, it's a process. And, and yeah. if you save, I think one of the things, if you're in a position that you could save some money and pay more down and not pay that PMI, because I think PMI makes my skin yes. boil, but a lot of people have to do that. Mm -hmm. But if you could save just a little bit more money, maybe plan your budget to not buy this year when the market is so hot and high, but wait until next year, mm -hmm. but pre-plan and save enough money that then you can buy a good house at a fair price yeah. and discount would not have to pay the PMI, yeah. which is just basically... You just have to put more down payment yeah. to waive yeah. the uh, PMI. Yeah. That's why I got pre-qualified and then I said, uh, no, I don't want to do that because I don't yeah. want to pay PMI. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. So you make a decision to do something differently. And, and I think that's what you have to look at, what works for you. And if you're okay with giving away $100 a month, yeah. then do it. People do, do it yeah. every single day. Yeah. But it's up to you. What do you want to do and what do you want to budget? We are about to list a house that's going to be on, it's nine and three quarters acres. It has a beautiful, beautiful creek. It has a beautiful swimming pool. It has a million dollar view of the <laughs> mountains. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Actually, with another bath out by the pool, so it's really three bath. <laughs> has a beautiful big workshop that they built for their business. Um, two car garage that I would probably turn into a master suite to make it a four bedroom, mm -hmm. and I think that would be so easy. I know, I know this yeah. man right here. Yeah, <laughs> Scotty could do, do it. it. Scotty <laughs> could do it. But that's exactly what I would do with that home. I would have to have a master suite. So um, it has a beautiful master suite now, and it has a a uh, garden shower that you could take your family in. Wow. Your whole family could take a shower one time, save money. But um, it's just really, really cool. Yeah. And it's on a beautiful, beautiful piece of property and that's going to hit the market in about three weeks. So if you're looking for somewhere with about nine acres, it might be something you would think about. So pick up the phone yeah. and again call us. Yes. Thank you for being here today. Now we're going to go do what we do. We're going to go can we tell people about the old houses? Can we tell people about the paint? The oh yeah, <laughs> I'm behind her son, no. and she had something on the top of her car, and oh, I thought, boy. what is that? No, and she had forty dollars worth of light bulbs and a little can of paint, and she turned the corner, and whoops! No. I was I was emptying my card, and I actually need, drove by today because I was like, I need to find my light bulb. <laughs> So and uh, oh, there's the pain. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but, that was yeah. hysterical. When I was behind her, I thought, what is that on top of her car? Yeah. <laughs> well, Scotty oh. called me too. He's like, what's in your car? And I said, whatever it is, it's not gonna be there. And he's like, well, just slow down. I was, like, I have like 20 cars behind me. <laughs> that was I so can't funny. slow down. And I've done the same thing. I was pulling out of the gas station one day, and I had my phone laying on yeah. top. 
and a guy ran over there and told me, Lady, your phone's on your Well, car. my neighbor found my purse and my, <laughs> and my phone in the middle of the road, the same neighbor. <laughs> We're busy, uh, we can't yeah. help it, you know, yeah. you just lose your mind. Yeah. But, you know, if you can't laugh at your stupidity, <laughs> what yeah. else can you do? Exactly. So, yeah. I'm so glad that y'all joined us today, and I hope that, I hope that you'll find something to smile about today. I hope that you'll find something to be positive about. And don't forget this weekend is going to be the creek cleanup, because we have the uh, creek cleanup happening in Ball Ground, and you are welcome to volunteer for that mm -hmm. and become a good part of your community rather than... Um, Sitting around wondering what you can do, we're going to find you something to do. So every mm -hmm. week, I hope to encourage you to get out and do something for somebody else. Yeah. And if you haven't volunteered at one of the many um, food pantries in our area, they're always looking for help. And the thrift stores too. We have some great thrift stores. We have a th little thrift store down in Ballground that we like mm -hmm. and have donated quite a few things to them. Yeah. If you're thinking about getting ready for the holidays, please remember those thrift stores that give back to it's others. Just downsizing. And, yep. Yeah. Just donate. Donate, 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 and uh, it will come off your tax bill, too. So yep. there you go. You'll have, a, have something to use for your tax records. All right, time for us to get out of here. Don't forget football happening in these beautiful mountains. Well, who's playing this week, y'all? Pickens County. Pickens County and who else? Central, Cent Central Carroll High School. Well, that doesn't sound like a rivalry we know and <laughs> familiar with. <laughs> I hope Pickens wins. So here we go. We'll see y'all again soon. Please remember to pray for your neighbors. Pray for your friends and um, pray that you can get through the days ahead because uh, I know somebody out there is facing something that hurts. You can get through it. See you again soon, only on ETC. You got me looking